What is going on guys? It is Brian from Brian's Beverage Corner and I am back and that is true. I am back, back, back. I will be filming more often now. I've been on a long, long hiatus. Matt's not even here right now, but I know he's upset because we are trying uh, 450 North Brewing's two of their beers, Mermaid Dude Cup and Barnacle Guy Cup. They are Spongebob themed beers, that's why I have this wonderful Spongebob themed shirt. But I have been dying to try these 450 North beers. They make the funniest logos, they have all these different Spongebob themed cups and cartoon themed beers. And these are two of the Spongebob ones, they have a ton of them. So I saw these two at uh, Bottlecraft in Liberty Station. They were, they're super cool, super cool place to go. I was surprised that they had them and I picked them up immediately. So we're gonna try them today. So of course, they're 5.3% each, two different complete sours. Uh, we'll do Mermaid Dude first. So it is a Cara Cara Orange, Tangerine, Nectarine, Peach, and Mandarin Smoothie Style Sour Ale. 450 North comes out of Columbus, Indiana. Go on their website, they have a huge bottle of uh, draft and can list. Oh, it looks like it looks like Sunny D. But here we go. I'm so excited to be back. So there you have it. It looks like a frothy orange juice. Super fruity scent. I'm excited. Ooh, that is very very sweet. It does have like an orange juice aftertaste, so it's not very sour. It's almost like um, it's almost like orange candies in a beer form. I haven't had any of their beers ever, so I've been super excited to try to find them. I love the designs though on the cups. They give each one like a personal like smoothie cup. And they are uh, smoothie style sours, which means that they are gonna be a little bit thicker. Like they use lactose to give it kind of like a frothiness to it when you pour it. But it's pretty good. I like it. Um, the aftertaste is a little weird though. They are, they're not cheap. Um, I wound up not even knowing how much I spent until afterwards. I spent like $10 a can on these, but uh, the fact that they were available was a shock enough and I would have bought the whole set they had, but these two were SpongeBob themed. The other two were just regular sours. So, so if you're wondering where I've been, you know, work's been crazy, been doing a lot outside of work. And uh, like I said, Matt's gone. He'll be back eventually. I'm trying to find a temporary co-host, but for now it's gonna be solo. And I am gonna try to do shorter videos, kind of like how Eric and Corey do it. So the next one is the Barnacle Guy Cup. So this one is raspberry, cherry, pomegranate, strawberry, and cranberry. So this is probably gonna be like a deep red. Oh yeah, I can see that. So here you go, more of a like, dark berry color to it definitely more of a fruity aroma not as much as the orange that's high like very citrus hopefully this is very berry so we'll see cheers Ooh, night and day difference this one's very fruity not very acidic like the orange one is not, they're definitely not light beers these are definitely gonna be heavy on the stomach but they're very delicious Oh yeah, I'm glad I found these. But we're gonna be doing videos. I'm gonna be back, hopefully giving good reviews. Uh, today's winner de is definitely gonna be the Barnacle Guy Cup. Definitely a solid like 3.7 out of five. The Mermaid Dude Cup gonna be a little bit closer to like 3.3. Only cause the aftertaste is kind of weird. And it's a little too acidic. This one's definitely more fruity if you're looking for a fruity beer. But they're not heavy. I mean, you can drink these probably with some kind of dessert or if you're just sitting around watching the game, March Madness is on. <sighs> not much to say. I thought they were gonna be a little bit more sour. They're definitely more sweet than sour. So there's no puckering uh, taste to it. But I do like this Barnacle, uh, Barnacle Guy Cup. This one's probably the winner for the day. 450 North, once again, out of Columbus, Indiana. Go on their website. These guys have a ton of merch. They have a ton of different types of beers. Go look at the images. They have a ton and they're very cartoony based, which I thought was really funny. And all their flavors just sound amazing. These two are good. If you like the SpongeBob theme, maybe I'll try to see if I can find other ones. They have a Krusty Krab beer. They have like a golden spatula beer. I saw that. 
They have a ton for SpongeBob. I could probably do like a whole series just on their SpongeBob beers. But as far as these two, I had to do them to get you obviously know I had to do them together. And then, and then I loved, I went out, I found this at uh, Spencer's. I loved it. They had a bunch, but this was the one I chose. But so glad to be back. If you can find them, maybe Total Wine. Like I said, I found it at a specific craft brew store. Where I found it, for those of you local San Diego people, is Bottle Craft and Liberty Station. They're super nice people. Always have a good selection. Uh, definitely go check them out if you have time. So until next time, I'm Brian from Brian's Beverage Corner. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, drink responsibly. The weekend is coming up. Bye.